you got in that bucket? A monster. <laughs> Our banana hammock works. <laughs> Hi there, we're Bo and Brandy, and with our salty pup Una, we sail full-time in our sailboat, Sersha. We have learned a lot since living on the ocean for over a year now, and one of those things we're most proud of is catching our own dinner from time to time. When we're sailing, we're fishing. And when we're anchored, we try our best to find the local cuisine hiding under a rock. One of our favorite things about anchoring in secluded islands is having the beach all to ourselves and setting up a little bonfire to cook up our catch of the day. On today's menu, monster lobsters. Good morning. Just getting some last minute uploading done. <laughs> Gotta get that next video out to you guys. Today, the wind is good. It's picked up a bit. Yesterday's sale was really good. So we feel pretty confident in taking off to Karakou. We are gonna take down the big 145 and put up the jib. Actually, Brandy's doing that right now. So let's go check it out. Getting the head sail ready. They're a little sticky. <laughs> Clearly haven't used them in a while. Spraying them with some corrosion block. But we decided to go with the smaller sail because it's gonna be a little squally today. And they need some major lubrication. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Video done uploading? Check. Chart plotter? Check. Solar panels secured? Head sail clipped, check. Lifeline secure, check. <laughs> Let me double check. <laughs> Engine on, check. Let's go. We are headed into some rain. It's getting hot anyway, so it'd be nice to cool off. Yeah, check out that cruise ship. It is massive. I think Sersha needs lips like that. You well, see the lips on it? <laughs> pretty eyes. See the lips. <laughs> Here is the city of Guave. You guys probably don't recognize it from this point of view, but this is where we had the Friday fish fry with Billy, Sierra, and Catherine. It's pretty cool to see the city from a different point of view, from, from the ocean side. Yeah, to see the whole yeah, island. Like, yeah. like my my sailing stance. <laughs> the countryside, the water so I wait up here, I just let it you know. I wait along the corridor, some would say they seen me here before. Let's find out. 
are still sailing. The sun is setting. We are about four and a half miles away and we'll be anchoring in the dark. But it's okay, our friends are over there. They're ho hopefully will give us um, some guidance on how to get in because they are anchoring just properly right now. But uh, yeah. I have to say that these past two sails that we had yesterday and today have been exactly what we needed. We can still see land. It's been super light wind. Or actually, we were going seven knots yesterday. It's been just really nice conditions to get back up on the horse. <laughs> get back on the saddle. But we are going to go ahead and say good night with the sunset because we're gonna need some concentration on getting anchored. Yeah, we've done it before. We've anchored at night. Yeah, um, plenty of times. A couple times before. Yeah. We'll just be cautious and take our time. Yep. We will not be anchoring under sail. We'll definitely kick the motor on. So we have been doing some motor sailing. It's been it's been on and off wind wise today. Yeah, today. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's taken us so long. <laughs> You've got to oil that thing. I added to the list. <laughs> Ooh, it's not even on the list. Nope. All right, guys. Good night. Good night. in a box I adore everything you touch so this area is known for the swell and the roll it tends to be really really rolly with the exception of when there's really light wind coming from the east which guess what that's what we got we actually were maybe not gonna leave yesterday but thought we probably should just to get here so we could hang out for these couple of days of no wind and really be able to enjoy and snorkel and maybe get some lobsters because there's no swell. I mean, it's rolly a little bit. I can only imagine when it's ro really rolly what it would be like because there is a pretty good swell, but we got lucky. Ready to do some diving. Since we can't use a spear gun or a spear pole to catch the lobsters, I'm going to create a snare. And I got this design idea from Brian off of Karma. It's gone through several iterations, thankfully not by me. He's perfected it and it's given him a lot of success. So we're going to attempt to make it. Hopefully we'll get the same success. It's pretty simple. Just a probably two and a half foot copper pipe, quarter inch. I bent it right here to get the tickle action. Where'd you get that copper pipe? Yeah, copper pipe? The copper pipe. Uh, I don't know, where did I get it? I thought you pulled it out of the boat. No, that was a bigger pipe. Oh. Yeah, we bought this at the hardware store. Oh, we did? I think a secondhand store. Oh, okay. Yeah. But then I'm using some wire, some braided wire. Uh, this. This thickness, I think it's, I, I don't even know it, but it's too small, I think. Uh, it'd be better if I had a larger thickness, a larger diameter. And then I'm using some captive sleeves. So what I did, at I just threaded through the wire. And on this end, you can see I made a loop in a loop. So it allows, it allows this loop to freely freely move so let me demonstrate how it works this rag is the lobster tail and the idea is you kind of let it out and hold you... on let me give you a little more of a challenge you want it moving oh no they don't move oh, they don't move that's right yeah they just they just sit there and look at you like they're they have no idea what's going on so this is the lobster tail the idea is lobster move backwards, typically. They, you know, they scoop backwards. So the idea is you kind of just lay it up behind the tail. <laughs> like this. And then as it moves, it goes this way. And as it goes this way, it pulls tight on it. See that? So, I think this will be... A nice little design. I did the same thing to the other end. That way if I, I don't want to use the bent end, I can use this end. 
And it allows it not to to go through the pipe. It captures it. But yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll have a lot of success today. Say, do you believe that we were meant to be? My body craves identity. Green mango peach, what a tease. Calling me. You ready? I am bent ready. <laughs> Take it easy. No one lies, push it back. Let go of control. In under fallen treasured skies, I'm staring deep into your green eyes. The two is one, so we begin. are back on Sersha. Unfortunately, our GoPro decided to get some water in it, so we're not sure how much of that footage we got, but Brandy found the catch of the day. Yes, I'm hoping that the GoPro is okay. I put in some silicone so hope, beads, so hopefully it will be alive. But yes, I dove down and underneath this ledge was the largest lobster I've ever seen, ever in our lives. Yeah, I think it was a, a monster. Yeah. But uh, I came back up, did my little caca -ca call, and Sierra thankfully answered because she had a net. I had no gloves, I had nothing. And I probably can't hold my breath that long yet, yet. So she dove down, snagged him right up. He's so big, he couldn't even fit in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so we are gonna go over to the island with Billy, Sierra, and Catherine. Yeah. And we're gonna grill those little lobsters up. <laughs> little. Well, those <laughs> monsters up. We do have a couple extras. Yeah, we, yeah. we got three in total. Yeah. Um, truth be told, I think Sierra caught all of yeah. them. So thank you, thank you, Sierra. <laughs> yeah. But this is the little beach we're gonna go hang out on. Uh, it's right here by our boats. Uh, hopefully the bugs won't be too bad, but we're gonna go head over early and get the fire started. Yeah. Get that fire started. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a little high from getting the lobsters. <laughs> good day. It was a good day. Yeah. Overall, it's really pretty here. Oh, uh, the coral and is amazing. Bo's favorite. Oh yeah, we went to the beach around the corner and got some brown coconuts. So we're gonna be having a little lobster while we husk our coconuts. Good times. <laughs> And tell some ghost stories, right? No, maybe <laughs> some sailing stories. <laughs> Bo and I are in charge of creating the fire. The only thing is, is there's not a lot of firewood here on this island, so we gotta look really hard. In the past, we've had islands that have had all sorts of things like pallets of wood, <laughs> so we've been able to burn those, but yeah. We're just trying to find random wood. Looks like you got the mother load. Yep. Where'd you find that? In the forest, there's a creepy old path over there. Oh, I'm nice. like, I don't know if I should be in here. And we got the fire going and the sun is setting. And we are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's about. We got our friends on the way. With the lobster. <laughs> yeah, they got the goods, so. Oh, they got Jetty too.
So this is what we got for tonight. We got the spinach and parmesan seasoned with some garlic and onion. Then we have these nice looking lobsters. This guy is humongous. Yeah, and the tails. No, the legs. Or the legs. He was so big that we had to cook the legs. Look how big he is. That is crazy sauce. I'm gonna test out one of these legs. Oh, these are juicy. So good. I don't know if I've ever eaten lobster legs. Me neither. That they're so big. Yeah, right? We had to eat uh, lobster legs. They're like king crab claw legs. Yeah, these are massive. King crab legs. Do you wanna try it? As you can tell, I don't eat legs that often. <laughs> don't spit it in there. There's garlic. Oh yeah, we have garlic. Mmm. Wanna try it? Oh, that is good. And we had an amazing salad by Billy for an appetizer. And we tested out some fresh calamari. He, uh, he caught a squid the other night. It was delicious. Wait, what were the two things that you said? What's that? No, I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Billy. <laughs> See me? Yeah. Illuminated by Lucy Light. <laughs> so this, this swell got really bad. What time is it? 4.45. It probably started at what, 3? Yeah, it's been gone. The wind clocked to the northeast, so we started pointing to the northeast, and we've just been getting beat up. So I am doing kind of like a side bridle. I learned this from a guy, Sean, off of Breeze. He learned it from another guy in the Bahamas. But basically all you do is you cleat off your snubber line at the midship and then you run it to your, um, to your anchor chain and then you let out enough anchor chain to then basically point you into the waves instead of being pointed into the wind. So that's what I'm doing right now. I this is a, it works. Yeah, this is the first time I've done it, so fingers crossed. Stuff is flying all over the cabin, so I hope it works. All right, we're pointed the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I should have mounted it on the other cleat. So I'll pull it back up and mount it on the other cleat. That way we're facing into the waves. Because now we're facing with the waves. <laughs> well, our butts to the waves, but it's working. Yes, it feels better. It's working. <laughs> it's working! Yay! We tied it to the stern instead of the midship. It's working better. Now we can stay in swelly anchorages. <laughs> and feel comfortable. I mean, we've, yeah. we've been in a lot of swell before. We've been beaten up plenty of times. Black point. <laughs> we've, we've paid our dues. Good job. All right. <laughs> and we are the last one standing. <laughs> yes. Our bridal works so well that we are the only ones who can tolerate the swell. We don't know if that's the case. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. But ourselves. the only reason we're saying that is because there's nobody else here. And since our GoPro isn't working anymore, we are resorting to our old school Nikon Cool Picks <laughs> AW100. Uh, we had this before we got the GoPro, 
Yeah, it works all right, but it doesn't have all the cool stabilization features and slow mo and all that fun stuff. It's like, when did we get that? This? Oh, we got this ages ago. I don't even think they still make this. It's probably like a new brand or a new model. Sorry for the quality, but yeah. until we get a new one. Yeah, we, <laughs> we need to somehow come up with a, a another GoPro. But I'm gonna dive in and show you guys the bridle that we created. Check it. Right out here is a really good area to go snorkeling and maybe some free diving. Probably too deep to catch anything, but we're gonna go back over here where we caught the hugest lobster ever and see if we can find some more. And then have our private little beach picnic. That should be fun. It's a beautiful day out. The swell doesn't bother you underwater, so we're gonna have a good day. Monster, our banana hammock works. <laughs> we didn't even try with the snare. This guy was so big. Woo! He's a beast. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. He's not happy. He is not happy. Look at him. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? <laughs> We're all prepped and we're gonna go throw that monster on the campfire. Campfire night number two of <laughs> this awesome little private island. It's just a perfect setup, so why not? And since we have it all by ourselves, it's just my idea. Yes. <laughs> Be a nice romantic dinner. Maybe we'll catch the stars tonight too. It's supposed to calm down, it's been pretty rolly. It's gonna start blowing from the east a little bit later, so the swell hopefully will ease itself. The lobster's looking like it's pretty done, so time to eat. Closed hearts 
for the 